Marilyn Mosby, the progressive prosecutor looking to voters to keep her in a position for a third term. But this woman, who spent years in the top prosecutor's office seeing firsthand the workload for prosecutors, says the job isn't getting done. There were a lot of um, inexperienced attorneys, unsupervised, um, very poorly trained. And that's another reason why we can't get a handle on the crime rate. Fox 45 News has been investigating the mass exodus in Mosby's office for weeks, reporting on how dire the situation is as more prosecutors flee the office. I saw the story, it ran again, and I said, that's not right. That is why I came forward. Mosby telling members of the city council her office is down 42 line prosecutors, reporting fewer vacancies than the numbers Fox 25 News has obtained. At first I thought, I said, oh, they know they're understaffed, they're on the right track, they're going to get it. But then when I heard the answer that you got for the uh, being understaffed, I said, no. It's bigger than that. They don't know what's what's really out here in, in Baltimore on the streets of Baltimore. Do you think that City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby plays a role in getting a handle on the crime? Yes, she's the commander in chief. According to the numbers Mosby is providing, the narcotics unit is combined with two others, working with eight prosecutors. Sentencing review, zero. Economic crimes, empty. Gun violence evidence division, seven prosecutors. Meanwhile, her office is listing six community liaisons seen on social media over the years, attending community events and touting the work of Marilyn Mosby. I've never heard of a community liaison. I've never seen one. Mosby's website says the community engagement unit is made up of nine liaisons. Currently, two vacancies are listed with a salary option between fifty and sixty thousand dollars. Wow, that's a lot. We were barely making forty in the position that I held, and I had a case load where I was doing um, at least nine hundred cases a month. There are fewer prosecutors in her office right now in some units than these community liaisons. If they actually had community liaisons the way what that from how that sounds, then you would have a much higher rate with um, things being resolved. When asked for specifics about what community liaisons are doing daily, Mosby's office simply pointing us back to the website, ignoring our questions, asking are these employees who are paid by tax dollars being used to campaign for state's attorney Mosby? Does the state's attorney believe this is the most appropriate use of staff and resources given the current staffing crisis? With about five weeks until voters decide if Mosby should continue serving as the next top prosecutor in Baltimore, this former employee says it's pretty clear. The state's attorney's office needs a strong head. They have to be strong. Is that person Marilyn Mosby? No, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's Mad Mosby at all.